Right, I'll be testing the, today the Triumph Street Scrambler, 900cc twin. Same engine as the uh, Street Twin. Uh, this is a bike that's come from uh, Team Roberts in Doncaster. Let's see how this thing rides. First thing that strikes me is the sound of this Serve uh, Triumph twin engine. We've got to do that in a minute. It feels nice. In this way, it's a, it's, a, it's a very talky bike. Very, very smooth though. I'll give the Triumph have done another good job. Now I've ridden Triumph in the past, some of the original um, Meridoon bikes, as well as uh, I had for a couple of years of uh, one of their uh, Pinkley tr Tridents back in 1997. I have to admit for uh, this is nice. The dash is nice and clear. This is what we which is what we want. The five speed box changes are nice. So in The engine is absolutely wonderful. Now I'm a, I have to admit I'm a big fan of the twin of the of the twin cylinder engine. A massive fan. Yeah, let's go this way. Go down here. Yeah, this is a, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. I've always been a fan of Triumph. And I, I say I'm looking for a second bike anyway to uh, so using this, having a ride on this is a, is a as well as having this, uh, this video exercise as well as an exercise for a future bike and. I've got to admit, in this uh, early few minutes, I'm very impressed. It's all clear, but I want to see what the brakes are like. Whoa! Brakes are absolutely superb! The delivery 
power delivery is just wonderful. Not doing it in as much as I would like at the moment because I'm still not used to the machine. If I get used to the machine, this will be... Again, it sounds rather like the, uh, the R983 from Harley I tested. This has got the feel of a good old British bike. And what's more, this is British. It's a wonderful machine. Unfortunately, we've got any coming to the 30 minutes, so I can't really open them up. The engine note is very pleasant. It's a very it's, again it, it reminds, as I just said it reminds me so much of a good good British bike from, from yesteryear. Yeah, this is a this is fun. The ride is better than the iron. So the dash is nice and clear. Okay, the, the red and silver colour of this particular machine is a classic Triumph colour. Oh, I'll tell you one thing, the street rod's going to have to go some to beat this. The old street road is really going to have to f to do something. I'm putting this car in the way because I can because these are nice sweepers here. can't really see far enough ahead to uh, overtake. But just listen to that lovely triumph. It's an, again, it's not, it's a classic twin growl, but it's also a signature I'm a triumph. It reminds me so much of the um, Bonneville I rode a few number of years back that was owned by the late great John Surtees. Oh, this is, this is wonderful. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I'm very lucky to have... Uh, I've ridden so many bikes in my past, I've ridden some of the great bikes of the of, of the honey history, you know, the uh, Vincent HRD Black Shadow, the Gold Star, the Speed Twin pre war bike. I've well owned a few classics in my time as well. I say, but this has got the uh, the feeling of a and the characteristics of a good old British bike with the modern technology. Trying for good when I rode them back in the late nineties, but God, they've come on well. <coughs> I tell you, if the Squeak Twin is anything like this, it's going to go to the top of my list. It's a look. This is nice. That shut the. It handles like a dream. I've been this <coughs> yeah, since I've been back to biking, which is since May last year, I've owned a few bikes, finding the right one for me. Started off with the uh, Royal Enfield uh, 500cc bullet. Then I've had a, uh, briefly a Honda Shadow VT750. Before I came, went on to my um, Harley, Harley Davidson Switchback. And then on to my present bike, which is a BMW 650GS, which is also my work bike being an instructor. But. So far, I couldn't. I could probably do a CBT on this. But Jesus, this is a. These bikes are beautiful. There's a lot of doubt when Triumph came came back in the early nineties. People were thinking, oh, they're going to be like the old bikes of the Meriden era. By heck, are they wrong now? Yeah, I missed that sixth gear, but I'll probably soon get, get used to that if I, buy, if I buy one of these. You can put it into a corner and you know what it's going to do. It gives a lot of confidence. Well, that's neat. 
I say the, the um, headlight switch is actually where the flasher switch is normally on most other machines. But it's actually quite easy to get at without even thinking. Which is which is great. So there's some little some little bits. Oh, I just forgot how much of a pleasure it was to ride Triumph. Especially one of their twins. They're well, not well known for their uh, triple, uh, triple engines, which are good, but, I, but I've got to admit, I love the smoothness of the twin. So I've got to try and uh, get, uh, take a bunny out sometime. I might go and do that over Doncaster, over, over in uh, Bradford, Bradford Way. So for a fun bike, this is absolutely ideal. I must admit, the iron has gone out. Has come off the list. The iron has come off the list. This, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Pretty this truck's in the way because we, cause there's some nice bends. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop let this truck get through so we can get some speed up all being well. So we, no, we go through the dash again, so we? And so at the moment it's on um, revs. We've got the fuel gauge here and the and the, indic the gear indicator here, so the speedo is very clear. Got ABS, there we got uh, the odometer, trip meter, trip meter 2, that'd be the MPG, I'm averaging 68, 79 miles of the off that, there's the clock, and we're back onto the rev counter. Right, I think it's time to go and have a little bit more of a play. Oh! God, if it triumphs twins are all triumphs twins are like this, I mean... We're in for a treat. Oh, <laughs> I can feel it going through my body. That low down talk. I'm a fan of. Oh, I'm falling in love with uh, Triumph again. I'm falling in love with Triumph all over again. God. Oh. Well, that's a bit, this, this scrambler's got to be on the list as well. Oh! Ha 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 ha! again, but oh! Oh! <laughs> what a motorcycle!
No, it's a shame that we had these two cars in front of us, um, keep us holding us back a bit. Otherwise, uh, could have really given and really put the bike for its paces on that nice crusty road. But hey ho, that's life. Absolute, this is an absolutely wonderful piece of machinery. Saddle's quite hard, but I'll probably soften up with time as you get used to ride as, it, as you ride, the bike becomes more ridden, ridden in. I'll tell you, this has got less than 700 on the clock. But, but, I'm, but still, it's worth it, the enjoyment. Yeah, brakes are this all round and they're uh, it's got the front and probably a tingle on the rear. So be uh, more It actually just it feels nice. It feels like the sort of bike that I love to ride. I love riding retro bikes and this fits the bill. I say this is I, the reason I'm riding this bike today is because it's the same engine as the uh, Street Twin. But having ridden this, this has to be uh, on the list for uh, a possible fun bike. Rather than a work bike. Just the little details on the machine. So the Triumph motorcycles on the uh, fuel cap. And the heat guard against uh, the, the very high um, exhaust pipes. Because this is a scrambler. But by heck is this a fun bike. I think it's having a bit of problems finding the indicators, that's because I'm not used to them. I'll soon get used to them though. Very, very nice machine. Just it. Gear changes are lovely and crisp, and the clutch is so it's much lighter than the Harley. It's a beautiful clutch. I'm doing 50 miles an hour in top and it's less than 3,000 revs. No traffic in front of us. We can see what we can see what I can uh, what this box really made of.
she just loves these open roads. Just loves as she tips in, you feel comfortable on it. Once again, we're starting by bloody couples. <sighs> Just in a cop on this road, a good parking road, but it's ruined by cars. Just see how we can just. She just chips in nicely. Awesome ride. Green facts. God, so fun for <laughs> Busy. But oh, this is it's a, it's a straight twin today. We are talk a cop. Right, we're heading back towards the daily ship now, so I'll give you my thoughts on this machine. It's definitely a retro, retro styled machine, which uh, I must admit I do like. There's more than a nod to the past with this machine. I say the engine is lovely and smooth, which I expect from a twin and from Triumph. The handling is superb, braking is brilliant. I love the dash, but this bike reminds me so much of the uh, Targa Cub, the old Targa Cub from the from the 50s and 60s, which I have been very fortunate enough to ride in the past. I'm afraid the iron has been kicked out and kicked into touch now, because from the by this by this machine. Would I have one of these? Yes, I would. But I've got to test other bikes first. This is definitely 
definitely gone to the top, gone onto the list for um, a possible uh, fun bike when, when I'm uh, within the next year or so. So I've got, I've got to be testing a few more bikes, and again I will video and uh, and post them onto uh, YouTube. On the whole, it's a very good bike, nice play tonight, it's an absolute joy to ride. This uh, this engine is just a wonderful, wonderful unit. Triumph know how to build engines. And by God, they're on form with this one. Well, the dealership's in sight now, so... That's been a test on the uh, 2017 Triumph Street Scrambler 900cc Twin. Okay, until next time, adios.